Hey friends, welcome back to Mission Viewfinder. This week we have a couple of pretty interesting things that we want to share with you, so stick with us. It is the night of October 31st here in Thailand tonight, and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on outside, not because it's Halloween, not because of anything that you're probably thinking of, but there are fireworks going off like crazy, mostly firecrackers, I guess, a lot of noise, and there's candles on pretty much everybody's wall. There's candles like all over the place, and there's reason. Okay, so I stepped out here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see any of the firecrackers or anything. You'll probably be hearing the noise, but essentially what it is today is not something that happens every year on October 31st. In fact, it's usually November. It's the 12th full month of the year, I believe. Every year they have what's called Loi Kertong and also in English, I don't know what the Thai word is for it, but the Lantern Festival. And essentially there's two things that happens. And the first one I'm gonna talk about because you're hearing it and seeing some of it is they send up lanterns into the sky. They're kind of cool the way they're made. They're like little hot air balloons, like they go up because of the heat inside. They send them off up into the sky and essentially what it is, quick edit here, essentially what it is is actually to make merit, which is a little bit different than what I was thinking it was, but yeah, it's really just a merit making thing, which is huge in the Buddhist religion, a lot of religions really. It's, you know, making good merit to make up for the bad things that we've done. So realizing that, you know, at first when I first heard about this kind of stuff, I thought, oh, it's cool, the lanterns look so pretty, it must just be kind of a fun festival. But the more I've learned about it, I realize this is actually a very spiritual thing. And so the last two years that we lived in this house, we are actually gone during this festival. And so we weren't around for all of this. But I knew when we came back last year that our neighbor had put candles in front of our house. And so we talked about it ahead of time and decided if she comes over candles, we're actually going to say no thank you because as Christians, this is not something that we feel we should be participating in. So. It's kind of a thing that looks cool and it looks fun, but it's really helpful as you learn more about it to understand not just maybe this isn't something I should participate in, but to understand the people here and the way that they are thinking, the thoughts that they have, and the, yeah, just more about their worldview and their religion. The other thing that they do on this holiday, which is actually what's called Loi Kratong, is they put these things called Kratongs, and it's this little floating thing that looks kind of like a lotus flower, and then it has a, a candle in the middle of it. And they take these things, and they put them in the rivers and the waterways and stuff, and essentially what it is, is it's, it's not just asking forgiveness to the goddess of the water for what they've done that's hurt the water, but it's actually like an act of worship toward the goddess of the water. So very Hindu connections. And yeah, it's again, it's something that looks really cool. It's a very Thai thing. It's kind of a, a special time. It's, it's a holiday, you know, for all the Thai people, but it's actually a very Buddhist and spiritual event. And yeah, it's, it's really helpful to get to understand people and what they believe and what these different things are when you can work with a people group so that you can better explain what you believe. And it's made me just so thankful for the privilege that we have of being able to go to God and ask for forgiveness. We're not trying to make merit. We're not trying to make atonement for what we've done to hurt the water or the air to some goddess or spirit that we don't know and that doesn't love us, but we have a loving God who wants to forgive us. On Sunday, we were able to go with our foundation to visit a, it's kind of like a children's home orphanage, but also a dorm for students from like the mountains where they can come and stay and go to school. Um, it's Christian, not Adventist, and um, 
So we went there on a Sunday. So the church pastor in Chiang Mai, he's Lahu, and this is a Lahu um, ministry there. So he had a connection with them through that, or gained a connection with them. And so we were able to go and give them some uh, clothes and a little bit of food and feed them lunch. But more than that, we were there and we played with the kids and they had like games in the afternoon and this looks really bad. And anyway, it was, it was really um, a fun day. And I thought maybe you guys would like to hear what Lahu, the language, the Lahu language sounds like. So here's a little peek into that day. That's all for today, friends. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope this was a blessing to you, and we hope you'll join us here next week on Mission Viewfinder. God bless. Thank you.